Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here. And for today's video, I am doing a another care package video. I <clears throat> say that kind of like, I didn't mean that to seem in any way, the way I said it in any way to be like, uh, it's just been amazing. Like I, I believe almost all my videos lately have been care package videos and it's just crazy, um, but crazy in a good way that I, I just, I can't thank everyone and just the community as a whole. I mean, especially the people who have sent stuff enough. It's just been mind-boggling, really, the amount of stuff I received. And uh, it just really speaks to, you know, the generosity of the community and the spirit of this season, I guess. And um, so just thank you to everyone. Um, so today's package is from Ken over at Ken's Cardboard. Um, I've been watching Ken for a while and then, um, yeah. also been watching my stuff and then, um, I finally decided to reach out. He was wearing a, uh, a t-shirt, um, in one of his videos of the amusement park that's like five minutes away from my house. So, um, asked some other people for his number, um, got his number and <clears throat> just had to comment on that just because how cool it was and um yeah um so just talk a little bit here and there from there and um it's really great to get to know you more ken and um he reached out to me and asked for my address so um i have a package here i just clipped open the end to make it easier cardboard glad we have been able to connect through the community i saw that you started a new tony gwynn collection and had a few in a box i hope you don't have some of these blessings ken booth so that is awesome ken um this looks like more than a few <laughs> it's crazy how much big card sandwich here so let's get into this um again thank you very much for this um I'm cataloged in TCDB up to like 1990, 1990 or 1991, I believe. So um, it's definitely going to um, be fun going through as I keep going through the years, add these in, see what I have. And even if not, um, any doubles or anything are going to be binder together. So it's awesome. Um, before I did this, pulled out a couple Rockies cards in the back just to pay homage to Ken. Um, and likewise, Ken, if you see any of the three here, I have a bunch of stuff set aside or organized by Rockies already. Um, so they'll probably be coming your way. Um, including these. Um, let me know if you need any of these at all, but even if not, I'll probably still send them your way. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's get into first one here okay it's let's just get all these out of the way at once <clears throat> Oh, so yeah, um, I definitely will, Ken will be, video will be linked down below, and, um, just awesome channel, obviously Rockies fan, um, Avalanche fan, uh, Jackie Robinson, just a lot of cool stuff, a lot of great cards, and just even better individual, so. start off here we have the 94 upper deck electric diamond um i'm not sure off the top of my head if i have the electric diamond so that's awesome and even if not like i said club binder and stuff together especially if you get like three or something they go really great together 86 tops always loved this card
Allen and Ginter. Um, do not have any of the newer Allen, Allen, sorry, <clears throat> Allen and Ginter stuff. This is 21. So no, I definitely don't have that one. Always a nice look on those. In Donruss, um, I never know which between the base set and like the highlights and <laughs> um, oh, and then I know these ones here with the period have um, after incorporated, I believe. Maybe also be with the uh, something with the comma. There's um, different variations, so I'll have to check that out. Diamond Kings, always love Diamond Kings. Always love the Dick Perez art. I believe this is 94 Donruss. 93 MVP. That's a cool insert there. Ninety-seven Donruss. As it gets to the later nineties, I don't know a lot of them off the top of my head. Oh, I'm really sure I don't have this one. Uh, this is hit list. Yeah, Ninety. Ninety-seven Donruss. Pretty sure I do not remember seeing that in my box. This is 98 Don Ross. Not sure if there's any kind of different parallel or anything to that or if that's just the base. I, again, I can't, off the top of my head, I cannot recognize um, that the year, that design from that year off the top of my head, seeing that. Um, these are real cool, the Upper Deck Ionics. This is the Atomic. The great Chromium cards. There's the that 98 Donruss design again. This is a checklist. But that's the base design again. <clears throat> 92 Donruss. Uh, I opened some boxes. I, to this point, I don't think I recorded that yet, but opened some boxes of these. So that was really fun to go through, and that's definitely a product I opened a ton of as a kid. 85 Donruss, I don't believe. Again, I don't think I have this one, so that's awesome. And even if so, like I said, just especially these mid-'80s cards are awesome. Another Diamond Kings. Again, I always love those. Donruss again. It's crazy what, since being a player collector, checking for periods and stuff like that, <laughs> uh, backs of cards for little variations like that. Love these um, collector's choice special editions. Uh, it's really cool image there, Gwyn, 2000 Pacific. Again, the Collector's Choice Special Edition. Those are really, I mean, I think they were meant to be kind of like a cheaper set. Um, or more designed for kids a little bit. But um, really a great design looking back. And uh, had the... Uh, gold and silver like facsimile signatures that you could pull um so i believe some of those they're like one i believe the golds are one per box i think the silver one per pack but i know some of those still have some value and then, oh how's this a uh, Take this out of the plastic. I think this is an insert of some kind. And then I know they had in this set they had things called reciprocals. I, that might be what this is because it is, or I think it's the image from the front of the card is switched with the image on the back of the card. But I could be wrong if that's what it is or not. But it says Techno here too. Either way, like I said, just love this 
set for not being a refractor. Still has some shine to it and cool colors there. Um, yeah, it might be the reciprocal. So that's a really cool one there. Um, Thousand upper deck MVP. Great shot of his swing there. Oh, speaking of, here's one of the collector's choice, the silver signatures. I can't remember for sure. I think these were one per pack, but it was a huge set, so to pull any kind of stars or anything, it wasn't the easiest. And like I said, I think the gold signatures command a decent amount out there just because they were one per box and with a pretty large set, aren't super easy to pull. You can see, I don't know, there are different images, but uh, there's Upper Deck Prime 9. Some cool looking cards. Oh, okay. There's more Collector's Choice, some sign on the jersey. Yeah, 95 upper deck. Uh, here's another electric diamond from 94. It's the home field advantage. I don't think they were inserts. I think it was just a yeah, subset. But electric diamonds were one per pack. But again, huge set. So to pull a certain one. Uh, 90 Donruss, all-star. <laughs> again, there's... There's variations of this, and I think it has to do with there's the pack pulled and the um, complete set variations, and it was crazy. I remember I was zooming or looking as close as I could, and it has to do the variation has to do with the way the paint like, look is splattered on the side here. So was slightly going crazy looking at those. <laughs> uh, this is ninety nine, I believe. Yes, um, holographics, these are awesome cards. Great shine on those. All right, so two more, I believe. I wanted to, so here you can see, um, wanted to show side by side those ones. Um, I think it might be 2000 Tops Chrome. And I know there was different milestones one's a 95 batting title and then his 3,000th hit so um, I I might have one or two of these but I'm not sure which but I think they probably made one for every one of his batting titles so um, which I believe there's eight of I'm confusing that with his silver sluggers I should know that off the top of my head but it might be eight for both actually but those are cool cards, and I'm pretty sure I do not. Might just have like one of them. Uh, here's a cool one with Frank Thomas, top of the charts for batting average. Uh, Gwyn had 372, Thomas had 347, so. Um, it's either 92 or 93 that would have been from. I don't see the dates there, but well, it was 95 actually. I see some of the other names on the list that might have been 95, but cool card there. Um, another cool one with uh, stat leaders for average again, this time with Edgar Martinez. I really love those collector's choice. Um, it's a checklist from '96 uh, upper uh, Donruss, I believe. Oh, here's another one of those hit lists. You can get a better look. The other one was in top loader. Cool insert there. '96. 
97, I'm guessing. Yep, 97 Donruss. <clears throat> I didn't realize these were so thick. Uh, Pacific Aurora looks like 98. It's card and thicker cardstock on those. I did not realize those were so thick. This is 98 Leaf, 50th anniversary of Leaf. 95 Leaf. Those are neat with a little bit of foil on the side there. There's another 98 Leaf. Here's the pinnacle inside. These were the ones I believe that came inside the can. If I'm not mistaken. So. Here's an awesome card. Um, 88 Flair NL Batting Champs. Um, Tony Gwynn and Tim Rock Reigns. Tim Reigns is a, another favorite of mine, so I, I really love this card. More collector's choice, like I said, just really enjoy that set. And okay, so this might be the reciprocal. I'm not sure. This might be the base card, and then the other one might have been the reciprocal. Again, I'm not sure, <laughs> but just cool cards, regardless. All right, and last one here. Again, here's another one of those Topps Chromes. Yeah, from 2000. This one for his 3,000th hit. So like I said, I know they they had ones commemorating all the kind of milestones. So um, off the top of my head, I can't remember seeing this one before. Um, Upper Deck Encore. Really cool design. Nice hollow foil on there. 99 I'm pretty sure I do not have that one like I said all in all there's a lot of these I don't have so it's a great design for a base card ovation these are really cool um, again base card but they're embossed you can just the texture of it kind of make like feel like leather and then the texture over the seams see the embossing there in the back so it's a really cool set um, another year of those there's the deck um, 2000 hitters club Like it's upset there, but it's a cool one. Um, here's another year of Ionics. Like I said these were just for base designs. This is crazy what they did in the 90s. Oh, I love these. Um, this is 96. SPX, I believe, is a special effects. You know, there's um, different colors and like die cut versions of this card, but just the, I believe this is the base insert, but just that alone is awesome with the hologram in the background and the baseball diamond. Those are really cool. This upper deck. Um, might have been like a box set I think the VJ Lavero showcase and uh, not exactly sure maybe I'll say all right so yeah this is <clears throat> I think this was a box set in the 
photographer speaking here. He photographed him um, doing uh, sharing some words of inspiration with a high school class. So um, that's really cool to see. Ninety six upper deck. These are really cool with like that goldish bronze foil on the bottom. Going with the shades. This upper deck, best of a generation. Again, looks like another subset on an insert, but <clears throat> um, really cool. Oh, Pinnacle ninety seven. Old school pinnacle. As I go back and see them, like really, in my mind, rivals Stadium Club um, for photography. It's a Y3K. I got another subset. <laughs> so many like things that you think are going to be inserts, but um, we're just part of the base sets. But like I said, still really cool cards and. Do not believe I have this one. This is holographics. Is that just a base? <laughs> like just look at these cards. Again, just I believe that's just a base card, but look at the design of that. Look at the foil and the shine. You can see almost like that uh, pulsar type effect. That's a really awesome one. And I'm very certain I do not have that one. So this is SPX again, cool design here um, with the like indented um, like stamping for that foil there. Um, I know the one year of these the finites were all numbered. I don't believe this one is, but it's still a very cool design there. Again, love Pinnacle. This is um, 96 Pinnacle 300 series. You see the gold foil on the side there for its 336 average. And it was card 336 in the set. Another one, Hardball Heroes. Because I just really love those Pinnacle cards. And more. Keep going. This is Upper Deck Textbook Excellence. I believe that is a insert. Cool with like the grid in the background. Um, here's Upper Deck uh, Retail Predictor. I believe this was a contest. Yeah. Two more here, uh, Prime 9, and last but not least, and I believe I was, <clears throat> when I showed off, um, I showed off my uh, 93 Finest Refractor Gwyn, and um, I was pulling out the um, Finest Base cards I had, and I was fairly certain I had this card, but I believe I could not find it for the video, so this might be one I do not have as well. Um, and if not, like I said, just I love Finest. Probably my favorite overall set from the 90s. Um, that one looks really great. Don't really see any hulking on it at all, which those can look really green. Awesome one there. Awesome cards in general. Have a huge look at the stack of all Gwyn's. Um, like I said, I'll be taking that, um, going through that and cataloging every thing in TCDV. Um, I'll try and keep track when I do it of anything that are unique cards. Just I'll give you a heads up. Just like I said, there's going to be quite a few there that are going to be unique, and um, regardless. 
I just log them in as doubles or triples or whatever on TCDB and um, uh, still get cataloged in my collection regardless. So um, those will always be with me. Um, I appreciate it very much, Ken. Like I said, if anybody is not, go check out Ken's cardboard. Um, this was awesome. Um, just really enjoy doing this and really appreciate this, buddy. And um, thank you. Thank you, everyone else, for watching. And just remember, any card can be a great-looking card, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.